The approach at Dan's Connection is that we're not a competition school. We've always said we're not a competition school. So we try to find a balance between allowing the children and the students to compete because there is a love of that for them and there is a benefit to that for them. That being said, we also try to instill strong performance and artistry skills in all of the students. So we want them to walk away feeling good about themselves because everyone is different. And so they're all going to bring their own individual artistry to their performance. And their performance may be on the biggest stage or it may be in the classroom. We have some great instructors at Dance Connection. And I would say it would probably be difficult to find some stronger resumes in the area. What these instructors here do with these kids, they teach them dance and they, they teach them to focus and, and when they're in front and when they're in this class, they are expected to do their best and the instructors instill that in these kids and they respond to them. The instructors are amazing and I've learned so much in my time here that I have improved more than I could ever imagine. If I'm not doing the right thing, they'll help me and tell me what I'm supposed to do and they'll like rearrange it. Me. She learned more here in a year than she learned at our old studio for seven, eight years. There's more to teaching dance than it being a job. I think it is a lifelong commitment. I think it is a career. Uh, I think you grow up loving it. You have to love it. Dance is me. Like, dance is my whole life. So, without dance, there's no world for me. We have a saying where we just lay it all out on the dance floor and um, that's, that's kind of why we're here. The teachers are trying to develop the whole child. It's not just a dancer, it's a kid that they are helping to raise. They're making them good people. Thinking of new and creative ways that you can bring dance to your students. Um, the young ones, sometimes they can't grasp it this way, so you have to think, well, how can I get it to them? How can they understand it? So I think you have to have a love of teaching. It's, it's not for everyone. I've taught for many different studios, and really honestly here, um, the minute I walked in the door, they were really arms wide open, like accepting. Um, they're always willing to see what's new um, and bring new people in. It's, it's a really good environment. Family focused. Um, they want the girls to do their best. They push them to do their best. Um, but they're not out there pushing them to all that matters is when. Dance definitely complements the growing up because you find friends that you don't find in school. Friends. Friends that are interested in the same things that you are, that understand what you're doing. And you just can't always find that. Every time I come here, I just get to be with friends and family. <laughs> Like, I feel like I can do anything, and I have all these boundaries that I can just pass now. It's our family. It's, my daughter said today, it's our second home, and then she said, actually, it is my home. I think we spend more time here than at home most of the time. It's like a family here. Like, everyone cares about each other. It's not just one person is the best, and we only focus on that person. We focus on building everyone up. And you see your directors and your teachers teach all the kids the same thing and not pick out special people to do this or do that. That means a lot to me because you give everybody the same chance. Here is about making friends, learning as much as you can, and just having fun. I think it's a good place to feel embraced and loved for who you are and what you bring, even though it's different from everyone else. I don't think that you can get that just anywhere. Being loved for who you are and being supported for who you are. And I think that every kid deserves that.